Hey YouTube, it's Bradbot254 here. Alright, today I am going to show you the uh, second section of this uh, uh, nine digit combination lock. Okay, so what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to break this into sections because I can't do it all in one video because I only have 10 minutes because I'm a cheap bastard and won't buy anything. So, uh, what we're going to start out with here is your four signals or however many you want this this can be as long as you want I'm gonna do four so here's the rule so after you get your nine digit combination lock built and you have your nine signals out here you're gonna come out to this block the next block out dig down once and then twice directly in front of all the signals all the way down to the last signal alright so you have too deep all the way down all right and that's signal number one you're gonna skip one and this is gonna be signal number two skip one signal number three skip one signal number four not signals I'm sorry this is gonna be your digits So, after you, after you finish that, you have your trenches dug for your four different buttons. This is button number one, button number two, button number three, button number four. What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and uh, pick which buttons we're going to do first. So let's say this is your first button look and see which one turns off so this is going to be your first button simple enough so you're going to put a block in front of your first button you go down and do the rest the same way so your second button let's just say is this one which one turns off this one here. all right so this one turned off so you're going to put a block in the second digit number Band where your second digit is. Same thing with the rest. So let's pick uh, this one. That one's next. So you're going to go to your third digit. Right there. So, and then your last digit. So, first digit, second digit, third digit, fourth digit. Alright, after that, you're going to put redstone leading up to the top from where your digit is. So now that you have that, uh, let's go ahead and put the repeaters in to uh, extend out your signals all the way to there. So along each of these, you're going to go ahead and put repeaters facing this way all the way to there, which is this one. This is the end. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put some blocks above these trenches, above them. So you're going to go like this and fill them up. Same thing for all four. Alright, and then the last one. Alright, so you have all four. Now let's just go ahead. Here's the, the next thing. A blow... Uh, on the same digit that you did before, leave a torch out but fill in the rest. So, um, so like this was my first number that I picked. 
So I'm not going to put a torch above that block. My second number was... Uh, shit. Was this one. So I'm not going to put a torch above there. I'm going to put a torch above everywhere else. Same thing here. Not going to put a torch above. Oops. Not going to put a torch above. Alright, so wherever your number was, was, you just don't put a, a torch above it. That's simple. Alright. Don't forget the rest. Alright. And this will keep us from resetting it earlier, which I will put a video up for the reset line. But uh, this is all I'm going to... This is all I'm going to do on this video. This shows you how to extend out your signals in the, this sideways form and create your reset signal block here. So this serves as two purposes. It will transition into your your thinking, your, your computer over here for your signals and resets the signals. Alright, so that's it for this. I will put out another video, hopefully, maybe even this week, but uh, usually I will do it every Thursday. Thanks for watching, and I will go ahead and start working on that next video, hopefully here pretty soon. Alright, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.